This is Dr. Del Meyer from Sacramento. Uh, today I'd like to uh, talk to you about uh, medical marijuana and some of the synthetic things that are going on today. Um, marijuana has come into vogue uh, quite a bit recently because of the uh, continuing tensions between the federal government and the state governments that are legalizing medical marijuana, uh, making it uh, uh, somewhat uh, close to being a crime if the, federal's, uh, the federal people take over. And um, the, uh, we've seen cases of people taking uh, uh, marijuana and actually improving their disease process. Uh, it's frequently given for nausea of uh, cancer patients um, and uh, pain control. Uh, and we've seen people people that are on the verge of dying, losing weight, being cachectic, losing um, half of their body weight, and uh, coming back around with the use of uh, uh, medical marijuana, which in our practice of medicine is uh, used as Marinol, um, a tablet that has uh, uh, tetrahydrocannabis uh, in it, and um, um, uh, one patient I can think of right off, he was down to about 80 pounds, half his usual weight, and after being on this for six or eight months, he essentially gained his entire weight and his uh, lung disease, uh, um, although not measurably better, was uh, uh, symptomatically better, and he went from eight liters of oxygen to six and four liters of oxygen, and um, I had to make home visits on him. He lives only a mile or two from here, and... Uh, in the last uh, year or so, he's been able to come to the office uh, with his wife on his oxygen lifeline. Uh, so um, these headlines have brought this uh, to our attention, and uh, my assistant here, Mark, has also pointed this out to me, and uh, so it allowed me to uh, look into the matter somewhat uh, further. Um, but the uh, health authorities are saying synthetic marijuana is not safe, and that's a totally different uh, animal from um, uh, marijuana, sometimes known as bath salts or uh, smiles, and um, the uh, recent uh, uh, death of the uh, actor in um, um, the uh, TV series um, um, was with smiles or bath salts, and... Um, uh, so it has it been investigated and that was used quite a bit because uh, Smiles was not uh, illegal for a while and of course now it's a, uh, a number one uh, class one a uh, narcotic uh, same as heroin. Um, but some of these uh, um, synthetic marijuanas or various uh, substances that are soaked into um, um, stems of plants and um, they're not meant for human consumption but uh, people are actually uh, smoking these and um, uh, ingesting them and so they have a psychedelic effect much like uh, LSD and uh, uh, peyote and uh, uh, people uh, are just totally out of it and I can see where they get the term uh, he's totally stoned in fact I had a patient come in here once sitting in the very chair that I am and her husband was next to me here, and uh, I couldn't even talk to her. I mean, she wasn't even looking at me all over the place, and he had to help out as to what she was here for. And uh, somebody like that uh, makes me very frightened if they were to drive a car. In fact, uh, he would not let her drive a car when she had a joint. And so that shows you how well, it cannot be very well controlled, and uh, it's a totally different uh, drug than uh, alcohol would be in, uh, in, in the public health. And so uh, there's a growing tend to use these synthetics and uh, um, hallucinogen type drugs, and they have all kinds of names. Uh, these are known as K2 and spice in addition to bath salts. And uh, they're very pure form of ecstasy or MDMA. And uh, they're not necessarily a new drug, but they're reformulated and in a more potent form of it. And so uh, that is something that will be uh, increasingly important and a distinct public health problem. Uh, well, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and post any questions in, you have in the comments section below. Uh, I'm Dr. Del Meyer. Until next time, take care.